All right, welcome back to tonight's Chaplain. Um, so as you can kind of tell, today's theme is doing a lot with sleep gear. So here is all the sleep gear um, you are issued or can be issued. Um, starting from the right over here, left I mean, whichever way it is for you guys, we have the um, sleep mat, mat sleeping, standard issue. Um, not much of an item rangers would use much because it is kind of bulky you're not always needing it um so it's more of like an on base type of thing um for sure in training you'll use it but not much for a 1990s chaplain um and ranger um next we have um uh, the pillow um very lightweight this one can roll it get pretty small um i can roll it small enough to fit in a cargo pocket um i don't think this is like an issue um tag is there anymore but i think it was one of those items I picked up at a commissary or whatever um next ranger sleeping roll the poncho Got it displayed for you guys. The poncho, poncho, poncho liner. Um, also, add your casualty blanket or your wool blanket. MSS. You guys know that. So, add this stuff back. And then the last piece I'll show you is actually contractor bag. But it no longer is a contractor bag. Is black as you can tell. Um, you gotta get the big, um, big ones, 55 gallon, whatever size it is. They're really thick. And what you do is you open it up, um, cut down the sides so you can spread it open. Take this guy out, lay him on it or this, and cut it to that length. And you got a ground tarp. Um, really lightweight. If it gets holes. Throw it out, make a new one. Um, easy, really nice. Make sure to get the unscented ones, though. They're normally not scented, though. But, yeah. Also, more of on the different side of things. Um, the shelter type of situations, but insect bar. Um, Make sure you got, when you got the insect bar, bring some rope with you. Um, trying to see if the tag is visible, but I don't think so. Um, I'll find it for you guys real quick. Yeah, you'll need some rope for sure. If you're going to, you need trees as well. Um, so, if you know trees, if you know you're going somewhere without trees, most likely you're not going to use it. And you guys all know that it hooks up to the cot. Um, so yeah. Alright, here we are. I have on the roll on the thing. It's always the worst. This is dated. It's not. No, it is. 85. Never mind. Yeah. Bar insect. As well, you have these guys. Pup tents. Again. More of an on base training sort of piece, but those you can use with the insect bar as well as the cot. Um, so, yeah, for the most part, that's all the equipment you'll need to have for your sleep equipment. Um, again, if you're with a ranger unit. Not too much. Um, with my unit, um, Second Ranger Battalion, um, typically our guys just have just this. Like that's what we did last event. Just that. Um, typically, we will make poncho shelters, and that's where this comes in when you're not using your, when you need your poncho as a shelter. 
they want this for sure. So eventually, I get once mm, weather's good, I'll get out there and set up some different shelter configurations. Maybe do a little night out there. But yeah, for the most part, that's all the sleeping gear you'll need. If not, at least just this, because you don't you don't need your pillow. If you got your extra t-shirts, or just use your rucksack. But, yes, um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video, and watch more on 1990's Chaplin.